The much anticipated presidential debate took place over the weekend. Thousands of Nigerians were glued to their TV screens to watch men and women who want to be Nigerians' next first citizen debate. Both President Buhari and Atiku were absent from the debate. Today, I'm out here to ask everyday Nigerians what they feel about the absence of the candidate of APC and PDP. I am Falami Funke, aka Tiny, and this is Street Pinions on Genius Radio TV. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon below to watch more videos like this. The absence of Buhari was expected. The body language initially had shown that she was not interested in the debate. So it wasn't a big day that he wasn't there. I'm sure when well, myself wasn't uh, expecting him to come, I didn't believe he was going to come. Now the uh, article was in absence. Article was there and left. And he's using was uh, because Buhari wasn't there. But to me, that was misconceived. That is a misplace of priority because it was an opportunity he had to impress Nigeria, to speak to Nigeria, the entire Nigeria. That, that would have been the biggest campaign uh, because it would have been the campaign to the entire Nigeria and even to Nigerians beyond Nigerians, as in beyond those who say in Nigeria. But he lost that opportunity. He, he just didn't get it right. And his reason is not tenable at all. He's completely unacceptable. If I, I can go as far as saying it's a disrespect to the nation. For me, I think it um, uh, shows the kind of um, uh, country we have as a Nigerian. And what, how, how we got there, I don't know. But I think it's a highly disregard of authority on the, on the part of uh, president who have um, ignored the presidential debate. It, it speaks a lot about him, that he has nothing to offer. Though Atiku attempted and he gave a reason that if there was no, the, the president was not around, why would he also be a part of the world? But the two leading party were not there, meaning that we don't have a country, we don't have a president in Nigeria. And for me, it retreats what we are talking, we are saying about Nigeria. The leader, if the, if the president of the country is not in the debate, what do we, what hope do we have as a people? What do we hope do we have? Nigeria, but what should be there and telling us that we are this election period, an election to be, uh, the debate should be part of the criteria for selecting a president in Nigeria. And I don't see the real one, the president himself should not be there. Even though Atiku was there, and he missed it too, it means the same thing that him himself should also be, his uh, attitude is, also, uh, is questionable. And I feel both of them are guilty of the same offense. Uh, so to so me, I, I think he doesn't, um, but you know, it's just like those guys, uh, if, if you have to look at it, it's just like they are taking Nigerians for granted anyway. I see if um, we don't mean anything to them, but, but you know, ordinarily the, 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 the national election debate group, it's not being recognized by the law, so it's just it's something that is so what are we debating for? You understand? So if if his absence does that does that add values to the to the nation? If it's there, does that absence to the so does that add value to the nation as well? So I don't see any big deal in there. So see, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Uh, many of them have been making promises. We we the APC before they came into power 2015, they make they made a lot of promises. And with which they failed to execute, she understand. So, uh, so you appearing at the TV and making policy statements and um, um, answering questions from journalists and all that and the audience, does that mean anything? Um, it's a clear indication that both of them are off it. Uh, Atiku has a, he, uh, he has a, has a history of um, corruption uh, so far. Uh, there are a lot of uh, questions he needs to answer, even when he when he was uh, a vice president to uh, Obasanjo. Uh, even uh, Buhari himself, the the president, uh, there are a lot of allegations against him, not uh, taking care of 
issues that he, uh, the, the campaign promise, all of that. He had health issues too. And even on that, on that ground, he has deemed him, deemed him unfit to, to run as a president. To me, I don't see... Yeah, I don't see anything about him. Okay, personally, I feel their absence is an insult to Nigerians. I feel for them not to be present is actually very annoying. And the fact that Atiku could say that his own absence, even if he was there, like he, had the, he was in the place, but he just didn't want to debate just because Buhari was not there. And the thing is, it is not just himself and Buhari. They already have this idea that it's just APC and PDP. But we have a lo whole lot of people. We have Fela Dorotoe, we have Obie Ezekwesili, we have Kinsley Mogalu. But him saying he wants to debate just Buhari, it's, it's, it's annoying. I feel he would have even won the hearts of Nigerians more if he had been there, if he had been in the debate. I actually had a little soft spot for him, but with this, I'm sorry, it's a no-no for me and Atiku. No, he was supposed to be there, he was supposed to do this debate, tell us what you have for Nigerians. He was not attacking, the purpose of the debate was not for him to attack Buhari personally. So for him to tell Nigerians what he had to do, what he has for us, what he would do for us if eventually he wins this election. So him not being there was not, was very, was not, was pointless. And why are we saying he was busy? Excuse me, this debate was not fixed overnight. He didn't find out a day before the debate. We always knew this debate was supposed to happen even before that day. So it's a matter of clearing up his calendar because we are the ones putting you there. You're supposed to serve us as the president. So you're supposed to clear up your calendar and make that particular day available so you can come and tell Nigerians what you have for them. Basically, Buhari absence, I, I never expect Buhari not to be, you know, to be there in the first place because Buhari being there and uh, Atiku, can I imagine, Atiku said because, because Buhari is not there, he has to leave. leave. Why come? Why does he leave? I don't have anything against anybody. You understand? But for him not to be there, for him, Abuari has not been there, maybe he's busy or so ever, and um, maybe some controversy question we ask there, which he won't be, he might, he won't be able to, or, or he never wants his words to be owed against him. That's why he, was, he wasn't there. But that does, that does not stop Atiku not, not to attend or to answer questions, to respond to questions there. You understand? It's you know that there are many, they are, they, they are both trading on the masses. You understand? It's it you know that. Maybe somebody has nothing to offer. You understand? Maybe, maybe some people. Mm, because I never said there is no, there's no reason for him to leave. You understand? There's no reason for him to leave. Just to leave there because somebody was there. Why can't he? Why can't he stay and uh, give his own opinion and uh, tell people what he wants to do or what he has to offer? Well, they both messed up. Uh, they are supposed to be there to tell us how they will intend to take Nigeria to the next level or to get Nigeria working again. But since Buhari did not turn up, it means he has nothing to offer and there is no way you can tell Nigerians that you want to take them to the next level without telling them how you intend to do that. Then for Atiku, Atiku is supposed to be there, but he didn't show up, which is also a flaw on his own part. The, the opposition party should have carried him along to attend that debate and tell Nigeria. Nigerians what he intend to do and how he intend to achieve all those all those stuff. So for not going for that debate, it's totally wrong. It's not the best. It's not ready. Why why did they run away? They don't have to come out and come and tell all their stuff. What they have for Nigerians. Nigerians should not be able to vote for. They should have they should come and tell us what they what they want to do for Nigerians. So why are they running away from the debate? It doesn't mean it's, I mean, it's total out of it. It shouldn't be like that. In a way, at this situation, where democratic system of government, they're supposed to come up and enlighten Nigerians of their, their stops, of their party, of their party manifestos. This is supposed to be given to the Nigerians. Nigerians should know what you have in stops for them. Um, well, it's not new. Um, we've, um, we've, we've um, seen several crises um, in the past where, where the um, presidential candidates didn't, didn't turn up for the, for the debate. So I'm not surprised. But then on their part, it just shows their lackadaisical like, um, attitude towards, you know, towards Nigerians. I mean, you guys should come, 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 come speak to us. Come tell us what you, you, know, what you have for us. So for me, um, 
Brian Hope not coming doesn't make any sense. Then um, Atiku coming, Atiku actually came to the venue, but because Boring was not around, he left. For me, it was it was um, a missed an opportunity there, you know, for you, you know, because Brian not coming and you were there, you know, you should I just come debate, tell Nigerians, you know, what you want to do, you know, what you the plans you have for Nigerians. And to me, it was like a, 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 you know, a more personal thing between um, Atiku and, and, and Bwari. Of course, you are at the venue. You got it's an opportunity for you to, you know, um, to canvass for, 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 um, for votes for, for you. Talk to Nigerians, irrespective of Bwari, you know, being there or not being there. You know, talk to them, tell them what, what you have and, and what you want, the plans you have, you know, for the, for the, for the country. But he came, he came and he left. For me, that was, whoever advised him didn't, for that, didn't, 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 didn't do well at all. Hello, sir. Yeah. What's your name, sir? I'm Andrew Vincent. Okay, Mr. Andrew, what's your take on Boris' absence and Atiku's absence at the presidential debate? Uh, those two people, the two uh, contenders for the president, and uh, they are the people that Nigeria are looking up to. Understand? People were expecting to see them and hear their view. Understand? But what I just see is that since they say uh, Atiku came, but because Boris absent, he, he left. Understand? Because he knew that other aspirants were just partaker of it. And uh, we in Nigeria knew, understand, we don't need to hide it. It's a clear vision. There are those two contestants are the people that we are looking up to, understand. So I don't know what they have in mind, but I just would have loved them to come out and speak and hear from them what they have for us. Um, I think that um, I found it awkward that people were surprised that um, President Buhari wasn't at the debate. And um, the reason being that um, we all knew to some extent that the president was, has not always been the kind of man you would describe as a man of a lot of words. He's not the man to sit and then you ask him questions and then he um, expands, he expansiates, he anal analyzes and everything. We always knew him as a man who maybe after he was done with his analysis, he just came out with a result or a decision. You understand? Um, I don't know, maybe people have come across it. I'm not talking about a Q&A session. I'm talking about the president sitting down, you asking him, he analyzes the situation on ground and he tells you this is what he's doing, this is the challenges, uh, these are the challenges he's facing and um, stuff like that. It's just not something I've seen from uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari and I'm not criticizing him, so to speak. It could be that um, he's the kind who feels that Actions feel, uh, the actions speak louder than words. Is that the saying? Yes. Actions speak louder than words and uh, stuff like that. So I wasn't surprised at all. What about Buari um, Atiko? Um, also, not to criticize anybody, I think that um, the former vice president, he uh, abandoning the debate because President Muhammad Buhari uh, did not show up. I think he goes a long way to show that um, it was the, the debate for him was never really about the situation of the country. You understand? I think the debate for him was meant to be confrontational and not analytical. He wanted President Muhammad Buhari there so that he could directly, mind you, this is all, um, should I say best, at best, guesses, so that he could pick out the loopholes in his administration and said, well, your administration did this, your administration did that, your administration did this. Of course, every administration, administration is going to have shortcomings. You understand? And I think that would have been what he would have dwelled on and not what he would be offering the people. Because if it was about what he would offer the people, why not? I think that was, that was the best platform for him, like everybody has been saying, to express and present himself as the most formidable candidate other than the incumbent president currently.